not more false. Point is, I love that man. And he died. It happens. The, thus is the way of flesh, if you will. Had I needed antidepressants when he died in October, I get it. We're looking at June, people. If I'm still on these antidepressants, there's something wrong with me. I'm relying on them as a crutch, is what I'm saying. And, uh, long hair. And did I at any point say that I was beyond it? No. Did I take antidepressants? No, I really didn't. I got through it myself. Point is, I know people, and there are people close to me, who take these on a regular basis. More often than not, there's government assistance involved. There are people that don't want to see that they need to grow up and handle things. Is that easy for me to say because I don't have any problems? I have obsessive compulsive disorder. You know what I take for it? Things that are all natural. And the rest of it, I deal with as best I can. You know what? I'm pretty sure the President of the United States, your local congressman, your local sheriff, they've got something that the local DCIM manual would say was a psychiatric disorder, but it's really not. The point is you cope or you don't cope. These drugs, in the long term, will destroy you and they will ruin your quality of life. That's a correct view. Uh, the list of antidepressants, writes J.D. Hayes of Natural News, that can cause sudden death is growing exponentially with Cilopram, Citalopram, uh, C-I-T-A-L-O-P-R-A-M, under the brand name Celexa and uh, Cipramil, C-I-P-R-A-A-M-I-L, are the latest such drug to be added, according to a new study. The research published in the British Medical Journal revealed that the drug tends to cause a lengthening of the QT interval, a point of the cycle of heartbeat measured by an, electro, uh, an electrocardiogram, excuse me, or what is more commonly known as an EKG or ECG. Indeed, a number of drugs are known for creating this phenomenon. The most notable among them being methadone, which has been documented as causing sudden death in some patients, especially when dosages are increased too rapidly. Now, I will say this. If someone has managed to get themselves into a heroin addiction, and that is exactly the way I meant to word it, methadone is probably a pretty good way to go. <clears throat> because it has been known to do a lot of really good things for a lot of people who are hooked to heroin. Having said that, I'm not surprised that methadone does it. What I'm trying to tell everyone listening, rather, is that if you are taking some of these uh, psycho drugs that, that are helping you, they just listed them in the same threat category as methadone which is what heroin addicts use to recover. There is no symptoms indicating a risk. A perfectly normal person will literally drop dead, writes Heidi Stevenson at GayHealth.com. It is a silent killer, it says, and I'm going to go on. The heartbeat is regulated by a series of electrical pulses and key points of the pattern printed on an EKG, or labeled PQRST. If the time between Q and T waves is lengthened, it is referred to as QT elongation and prolonged QT segment. The only way to know if it is occurring is if you have an EKG. The point is that these drugs are killing your heart. If you don't know the scientific side of what I just meant, and I put it out there for boneheads that think I'm making this up, then just listen to the layman's terms. These drugs are killing you. And I'm going to give you this. Well, you say I'm not on that antidepressant. Well, let me give you a list of the ones that might just kill you. 
In performing their studies, researchers examined 38,397 adults, so it was not a small study, who were either taking an antidepressant or a methadone at some time between February of 1990 and August of 2011, so it was not a short study, a period of more than two decades. Antidepressants taken during that period by the patients involved in the study include Citralopram, who I already mentioned, Celexa, um, Lexapro, which is E-S-C-I-T-A-L-O-P-R-A-M, Fluoxetine, which is Prozac, Paroxetine, with is Paxil, Serotraline, oh, that's the poison known as Zoloft, Amitriptyline, Bupropion, which is Zambin, Duloxetine, which is Cymbalta, and Mitzapine, which is Remurin, and Effexor, which is Nortripoline and Valafexine, all do the same thing. By the same thing, I mean, in fact, that they all poison you! So guys, what is it you do to get around that? Well, come on, use the thinking part of your brain. You're well aware of what you do. You quit taking these things and you deal with the fact that maybe there's something a little irregular about you, but it's nothing that cannot be handled without these drugs. You're using these drugs because you are too weak and too selfish to work with them otherwise. I might have just made a bunch of enemies, but I stand by that. A uh, Bilderberg delegate speaks on record June 10th, 2013. I promised you some new news as I do my spring cleaning, and I am in fact going to do so. Bilderberg delegate speaks on record elite group members realizing that increased exposure means that they can no longer hide. For those of you that want more on what Bilderberg is, it is a group of people that destroy the U.S. Uh, Constitution and most uh, pointedly break the Logan Act. Look up the Logan Act. Basically saying that uh, leaders of our country cannot meet with other leaders of other countries behind closed doors, which is exactly what they do. Look up Bilderberg, why it mattered to me. I literally sweated blood to make that movie, and you can watch it free. A Bilderberg group delegate who attended this past weekend's secretive elite meeting has discussed the organization on record in a move that signifies a shift toward more transparency enforced by alternative media and activist exposure. Sir Shepard Cowper Coles, a former leading British ambassador to Afghanistan, now a leading executive at arms manufacturer Bay, BAE Bay Systems, spoke on record to the Watford Observer today. Predictively, Cowper Coles merely repeated the establishment media hopes that Bilderberg has, no, Bilderberg has no influence and is merely talking shop on a golfing holiday. I can honestly say, I think he lied, having been at the meeting, all the conspiracy theories are wrong, he said. He added, I was a private discussion of the kind that takes place at conference centers all around the world all the time. Well, if that is in fact the case, then let me offer this. Maybe it is time for more cameras to be in more areas more often at more conference centers. Because if anything as important as Bilderberg is going on at the normal centers, conference halls across America, then we might be a real step forward in realizing why America is so screwed. So in trying to protect Bilderberg, he may have in fact actually told the truth. Um, <laughs> uh, FoxNews.com EPA accused of singling out conservative groups amid the IRS scandal. Alright guys, I wasn't going to get to this, but I absolutely have to because I need to talk to the Obama supporters for a second. 
I was not an Obama supporter. And if you think that I was a Romney supporter, then you need to keep listening because you couldn't be no more wrong. I'd just as soon vote for Mitt Romney as I would eat a bowl full of live maggots. By choice, without money. I voted for Gary Johnson having supported Ron Paul, just so you know. I am not a Romney supporter with sour grapes. Mr. or Mrs. Obama supporter, a little Miss, Mr. Obama supporter. How would you have felt about the IRS singling out you and what you believed and stomping what you believed when George W. Bush was in power? Would you have liked that? Well, if you stand by why Obama does it, what if a Republican gets in next time? And what if he's doing it to you eight years from now? Now that I have your attention, why don't we get on the same side and listen? It is not just the IRS, it says. A second federal agency is facing a probe and accusations of political bias over its alleged targeting of conservative groups. The allegations concern the Environmental Protection Agency, which is being accused of trying to charge conservative group fees while largely exempting liberal groups. The fees apply to Freedom of Information Act requests. Allegedly, the EPA waived them for liberal groups far more often than it did conservative ones. Uh, for those of you that don't know what I'm babbling all about here, I will explain, so don't tune out. Groups that agreed with what Obama was saying, they got a break. Groups that didn't agree with what Obama was saying did not get a break, and in some instances may have hired their entire group or organization utterly destroyed. Now, if you don't care about that, then I'm happy to hear that. Maybe, maybe the next president will do it to you. If you don't think that that's cool, neither do I. So maybe you should keep listening, because I'm going to keep reading. The allegations are under investigation by the House Energy and Commerce Committee and the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee, which is also holding hearings on the Internal Revenue Service targeting of conservative groups. I don't think it is fair at all. It's not fair to the American taxpayer. The American taxpayer should expect and demand that the EPA treats everyone equally in regard to these requests said Pennsylvania Republican Representative uh, Tim Murphy, a member of the Energy and Commerce Committee. This cannot be tolerated. As we see more federal agencies with this kind of bias, it is and should be a concern to all of us. And it should. I'm going to go on to a little bit more of this article and then I'm going to jump off and let you guys do your own studying because this matters. The idea is to throw hurdles in our way, a charged Horner who says that he decided to look into the fee structure after the EPA repeatedly turned on his group's waivers. In 20 cases of ours, since the beginning of last year, we were expressly denied or denied by them simply or refusing to respond in 18 out of 20 cases, said Horner explaining that the batting percentage for fees waived in favor of liberal groups is overwhelming. Earth Justice was batting 17 out of 19. The Sierra Club was the worst at 70% granted. 11 out of 15. You add up some other groups and we found 75 out of 82 groups granted because these are the groups that the EPA has decided are the favored groups. Unless you think that you are always going to be in the favored group, then it might behoove you to really think about where you stand on this issue. Because Obama is trampling the rights of Americans. And one of these days, those Americans are going to be you, I promise you. And it's not just me saying it. I'm going to get to one more thing before the break. I'm going to go ahead and remind you all that this is brought to you by a Nitro-Pack. Um, have you been to the Nitro-Pack? If not, do me a favor. Make sure that you go there because you're going to absolutely love what you see. They have camping supplies. They have prep supplies. They have just about everything that you could possibly need. 
and they have it for you at the absolute best prices that you are going to find anywhere at any time. And I'm asking you all to go there because I really do think that you're going to like what you see when you do. So make sure you go to TheMediaSpeaks.com and click on the Nitro hyphen pack button and uh, trust me, you're going to love it. The last thing I'm going to get to before the break this is from Al Jazeera. Syrian rebels execute teenager in Aleppo. Fighters reportedly shot dead a boy that they accuse of committing blasphemy in the northern city of Aleppo. It's no secret that most people lean a little bit towards the Islam side and a little bit toward the Jewish side. I'm 55-45 Israel. Why do I personally give Israel the extra 5%? Because while Israel does in fact commit atrocities against people, and they do. They don't brag about them, and they are not as common as they are with the fanatics on the Islamic side. And that's not saying that I think we should be in these nations. I do have a libertarian stance on that, and that is to let the animals on both sides be animals. It's time for us to leave. But this disgusted me, and I'm going to cover it. And again, I think we should leave, and that includes Israel, before I get any hate mail. Rebels of fighting the Syrian regime have shot dead a 15-year-old boy in front of his parents and siblings after accusing him of blasphemy, an activist group said. Al Jazeera was told that the boy, a street vendor selling coffee, was from the Sharon neighborhood of the northern city of Aleppo. He has been named locally as Mohammed Kata, K-A-T-T-A-A. Reports indicated that he was arguing with another boy, God forbid, on Saturday, and used the name of Prophet Mohammed, <laughs> in a common phrase used by Syrians, at which point he was picked up by fighters, beaten, and shot. An unidentified Islamist rebel group shot dead a 15-year-old child, child, who worked as a coffee seller in Aleppo after they accused him of blasphemy, said Syrian Observatory for Human Rights Director Rami Adel Rahman. Rahman said the rebel group likely comprised foreigners. They spoke classic Arabic, not the Syrian dialect. I happen to believe that the Syrian government is made up of animals, and the Syrian rebels are made up of animals, and we don't have any place, any place there. We need to be leaving. This is disgusting, and I've talked about how the Jews have harassed uh, non-conservative Jews in the area, particularly children, so I'm not biased here against Islam. My point is that every time you hear about some kind of beheading or cooking somebody's damn head, it's always on the side of the Islamists, and I don't care if I catch crap over that, I'm going to stand by it. And that is not to say the Jews are innocent, I think we need to even let the Jews fend for themselves. They shot the boy twice, once in the mouth, or another in the neck, in front of his mother, his father, and his siblings, he added. The observatory condemned the execution as criminal and said it was a gift to the regime of the Syrian president, Bashar al-Hazad, who is also an animal. This kind of criminality is exactly what makes people in Syria fear the fall of the regime, Rahman said. Activists have frequently lashed out against some rebel groups. So what is exactly that he said? It is thought that Qatar's customer, where he was working, 15 years old, was trying to get a free coffee, and the boy responded that if, even if Mohammed comes down, I will not give it his debt. This was misinterpreted by foreign fighters who took it as blasphemy. Let me tell you what. I don't give two dams and a fart about what you think I think about Allah. And if you think that any of us do, you're wrong. And that is why a lot of libertarians think that we need to pull out of your country. And I, in fact, am one of those people who do believe that that is exactly what needs to happen. Friends, you are listening to the correct views. It is spring cleaning. Here's some immunity for you. I will be right back.
got a guess. sure you go ahead and check out the band Passing Time. Type in the Alexandrian Solution. Uh, that song is there. Unfortunately, I don't let really set up for guests. I wasn't planning on guests, but I invited guests for the show and one of them have replied, so for that reason we're going to share the we're going to share the same seat here. Um, you just heard the band Passing Time, my band, our band. It, uh, the song was Immunity, by the way. It's in the movie Becoming Paul Revere, which uh, this lady, who I'm proud to introduce to you, uh, helped film Serenity. Uh, see if you can uh, squeeze in here. It is the singer of Passing Time Hi. live on the correct views, uh, Serenity Christelle, uh, Christelle, the behind the scenes queen, uh, Christelle, who I don't know what I'd do without. Guys, check this out. We got live in the studio and she was bashful. I promised I wouldn't ask her anything embarrassing. Hate being and, on camera. Uh, about, and then she's the singer. She's in front of me live. Um, and she's being on camera. But she gets out of it live. She gets in the character and it works. Um, I promised I wouldn't ask her anything dumb. I wanted guests on the show because you're stuck with me for almost another hour. So I'm going to say this. Serenity, in terms of our band, what are you most looking forward to? Easy question. I told you. <laughs> Honestly, I'm looking forward to the August 3rd show because it is the week of Hall of Fame. So we should have a lot of viewers, hopefully, fans. Uh, make sure you're there if you uh, live anywhere near Canton. Uh, Buzzbin Magazine, it's on Cleveland Avenue. Uh, you can't miss the building. Really can't. It, it, it's, it's decked out. It's, it's right in really the middle bright. of downtown. Yeah, I think it's 6th Street, I want to say 5th Street. Right smack there on the corner. We jammed there. I cut the tip of my finger off, and what did I do mere hours later? Played the piano. I played the keyboard. Yes, I most certainly did. <laughs> so, guys, we're gonna be, we got surprises. We have a way to make our weird, spooky goth. It isn't so spooky. We have a weird, a way to make our spooky goth stuff work for a mainstream crowd. And are we gonna change anything we do? No. Not a thing. <laughs> but we have a way that everybody there is gonna be bouncing. They're gonna be jamming, and we're, you're gonna be by the stage because we're gonna be doing something, aren't we? We'll be doing so. Make sure you're by the stage on August third. All right, guys. Serenity from Passing Time has joined us. And that is our entertainment break. <laughs> D like likes entertainment breaks. I bet he does. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let Serenity jump out of here and join Thank DJ you. Aram of Passing Time, who are both in the studio. Aram uh, not coming on camera right now. And down there chilling. And guys, we're gonna get right back into the news. That was great. That was, that was freaking awesome. Guys, check this out. YahooNews.com. Relatives demand answers after Chinese fire kills 120. And this, see, I'm going to say two things right in a row because I was talking about German history earlier. And for those of you on high def, I'm looking at my battery go down. So, yeah. <laughs> For those of you watching this on low def, uh, it is being filmed live with two cameras. So no, I didn't lose my high def. It's a different, my different cam. Um, Hitler lost the war because he was dumb enough to invade the Soviet Union. And then he was dumb enough to uh, allow people under his uh, blankets, so to speak, and the stupidity to attack the United States. I am happy that he did so, otherwise this would be delivered in German and I would be dead. Um, 
China could very well replace the United States of America as the world superpower if, first of all, communism did not work as they are proving, if, two, they were not killing off so many of their children that statistically they have already lost not one but two Albert Einsteins. If you don't believe me, look that up. It's a statistical fact. If they did not allow things like dead pigs to float down their streams by the thousands polluting their waterways, don't believe me, look up dead pigs, China, floating. If they uh, didn't do things like this, they would replace us. But the only place that is more messed up than the United States right now in terms of being in danger of grabbing superpower status is in fact China. And they are going right down the drain. It's horrible. It's over. This is another one. It really is. Relatives of workers killed when fire engulfed a chicken processing plant in royal northeast China blocked traffic and scuffled with police on Tuesday, demanding answers to one of China's worst industrial disasters in recent years. At least 120 people died and more than 70 were injured. A handful of men and women knelt in the middle of the road in the Hoi in Junin province to stop cars while a crowd of more than 100 people gathered around them. Police dispersed the protesters after about an hour, it says. Zhao Zichun, you regular viewers, you know I'm going to spell it out because my foreign language speaking ability is great. Z-H-A-O-Z-H-E-N-C-H-U-N, who sadly, it says, lost his wife and sister in the fire, which is why I took the time to read his name, all jokes aside, said human error was to blame for the death toll. I don't think safety was being managed properly. This should never happen again. They paid the price with their blood. So many of these big disasters, he went on, in China are caused by lax supervision. Now listen to this. Look, forget about Rihanna. Forget about Nickelback. Listen to me. I want you to pretend that the person whom you love the most in this world is somebody that died in this fire. Do you have their image in your face? The rationale behind the locked doors boils down to efficiency. With the doors locked, workers cannot wander about freely and therefore concentrate on their work. The official Zinhua XINHUA news agency said. This, to all of you that did what I told you to do, did you see your loved one die? Did you see him burn? Well, listen, don't tune out yet. This is where we set our jobs. So if this is what we intend, to send to them. At the end of the day, the only thing that's going to happen to us in America is going to be that sooner or later we accept these conditions. These conditions that I just read you. The ones I just read to you, that's what they want. Did you see your loved one burning? Because they blocked the exit doors to make sure they worked? Do you get it? It added that ammonia gas leaks could have caused the explosions at the plant. Flammable construction materials, poor design of exits, and insufficient prior prevention equipment contributed to the fire. Zinhua cited Gao Guangbin, G-A-U-G-U-A-N-G-B-I-N, Communist Party chief of the provincial capital, Cheng Hon, said, was saying, Cheng Chun, 
Safety regulations are easily skirted by bribing corrupt officials, and in any case, China has relatively few fire inspectors. It goes on tragically. Most of the inspections usually come after a disaster like this. After that one I told you to envision, just burned to death. Said Jeffrey Crawfall, a China labor expert with Hong Kong-based advocacy group, China Labor Bulletin. <sighs> then it goes on to talk about their loss of face, how China is set to meet with Barack Obama, and how this is such a loss to what the Chinese were trying to have done. You know, at the end of the day, the point is that they absolutely just don't get it over there. And they don't understand that every time they do something like this, they take one step further away from humanity. And I'll tell you what, I can see America going down that path, and I'm not going to preach at you. Do I watch porn? Yep. Am I in a band and I take every show I can get into the wee hours of the night? Yep. Do I DJ in adult-only establishments? You bet I do, almost all the time. Point is, I might watch the most brutal horror movie that ever lived, and then I'll make Christelle watch it. And you know what? It's fiction. When it comes to the treatment of people on a real level, I'm not talking about fiction, it matters. They didn't send our jobs to China to be nice to the Chinese people. You want to tune into the correct views? I'll give you a correct views. They sent it there because that's the way they want a business to be run. They want them to work for almost nothing. They want them to be thankful for it. And if they burn in a fire, it's worth it because it's cheaper to rebuild the building than it is to allow the workers to slack off, which one or two are obviously going to do on any given shift. That's, that's the world they want for us. I'm going to go to another one. North Korean officials join Assad's forth, uh, force, forces. Y-N-E-T-News.com Is there really a surprise here? That's like saying the exterminator is coming. And the rats and the cockroaches join sides to get the exterminator. <laughs> and any given exterminator is going to win. And that's what I'm reading right here. The doomed following the doomed. Oh, a moment ago when I talked about America staying out of uh, politics, you thought I had a side. No, I don't. I think we need to leave. A Syrian opposition human rights organization claimed Monday, and uh, this is dated uh, 6 that officers from the North Korean army are aiding Bashar Assad's forces in their fight against the rebels in Aleppo. According to the organization, a few of Assad's civilian militia fighters revealed that 